Hello, this is Pete from Electric Bike Report, and today I have the iZip Express in for testing and review. This uh, bike was actually developed for the Los Angeles Police Department, so it's got some power and some speed and uh, pretty high performance overall. So first of all, let me just kind of give you an intro into how this bike works. This is a pedal assist only electric bike. There, uh, there are no controls on the handlebars for the uh, throttle or, or anything like that, so it's a pretty clean uh, display. Uh, this is the battery pack actually, and you can see this is where the uh, controls are for the, the bicycle. And uh, this, uh, this is sort of a unique design, it's got a split top tube. Uh, and this is the, uh, uh, the battery charge indicator, so it shows you it's fully charged right there. This is the uh, uh, increasing or decreasing the pedal assist of the bike. And uh, what you'll get is uh, when you pedal, um, there's a, a sensor that turns on the, the motor for the, uh, um, the bike. And the motor is actually pretty unique in that it pedals uh, or it powers uh, from back here. This is the 750 watt uh, motor right here. And this is a carbon uh, belt drive made by Gates. And so it powers back to this cog on the rear wheel. And uh, you've got this, uh, this Evo uh, drive hub system here that basically blends the power from this cog as well as the power that you put in through the cogs back here, blends it together into uh, the forward motion of the bike. So it's, uh, it's definitely more unique um, than uh, your typical hub motor or uh, crank drive motor. So, and this is the, uh, the cadence sensor right here that uh, figures out how hard you're, or how fast you're pedaling and uh, provides uh, motor input based on that. And it's pretty sensitive, so it's, uh, it's definitely uh, keeps up with you and, and what you're doing. So, uh, and the, the battery pack itself, this is a lithium ion 36 volt, 20 amp hour battery pack. And that's about double the size of a traditional uh, electric bike battery. And that's to, um, handle all the power that's coming from the motor as well as to provide you uh, more range. And that was a requirement from the Los Angeles Police Department. So, uh, so those are the basics of how the, uh, the motor system works. And uh, here's the, uh, the cranks of the bike. These are uh, Shimano cranks. And uh, this is uh, also unique here. They, they're using the Shimano SPD pedals. And these, uh, you can use a cleat that, that clicks in here and uh, provides you a more efficient uh, pedaling system. Uh, or you can use just the, the typical, you know, just a normal shoe that would, uh, would go on to the outer part of the pedal here. So you, uh, you have your pick on which one you want to use. Um, back here we've got the uh, SRAM X7 rear derailleur and uh, um, you know, pretty, pretty good components there. These are the uh, Avid single digit 7 uh, V-brakes. And then uh, coming around the front here, um, you can just see more of the frame. And then we've got the... Uh, Avid uh, Elixir hydraulic uh, disc brake on the front, and this is the uh, RockShox Argyle suspension fork with the uh, 20 millimeter through axle there. So uh, let's come around to this side, and then uh, we've got this little quick release here. And this actually, when you undo that, you can slide the battery pack out and uh, take it with you, charge it somewhere. So, um, and then this is the the rear rack uh, on the bike. It's actually bolted onto the frame and then sort of cantilevers off the back here. So uh, anyways, that, that's some of the specs of uh, the iZip Express. I'll have the full review for you at electricbikereport.com.